Hi guys, it's Lynn here. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. Now today, this is a bit of a video vlog of me pruning the sun damage off my uh, big old Euphorbia triangularis. Now this Euphorbia, it got sun damage in the springtime. It was over, it had it overwintering indoors in the house under the grow lights. And I took it out in the spring, an overcast day. They'd forecast quite a few overcast days, so I thought it would be safe. And I think it was the second day I went shopping and the sun came out, which I wasn't expecting. And this poor euphorbia got quite a lot of stem damage. Now, the good news is it's completely recoverable and it's made a very good recovery. I'm wait I waited until now before pruning it, pruning the dead stems off, because I wanted to see what damage was done. Because the damage sometimes shows up a few weeks later. And the main stem is completely healthy, so that was okay and the growing tip was okay as well. And the, these are the ones that have died up, dried up here. And happy to say that three of the stems are perfectly healthy, so they're gonna be left. And I'm just gonna be pruning off the dead sun damaged stems and just sharing with you in this video. Now, if you want to know a really in-depth care about how to care for and grow euphorbia including pruning and propagation then you have to check out my wonderful friend Clyde Morris here on YouTube. Clyde has an incredible YouTube channel that is so knowledgeable on euphorbias and he has the most amazing euphorbia collection I've ever seen. So if you want to know lots more info on caring for euphorbias do please check out uh, Clyde's channel and subscribe to him. I'll link Clyde's channel up above and down below in the video description and don't forget to subscribe to me too <laughs> so here we go just telling you what I'm going to be doing now what I've got here is a pair of cleaner pruning shears sharp pruning shears and um, must make sure that they're clean I've cleaned them with rubbing alcohol so they're sterilized and here I've got some water a water spray I'm not gonna be watering this plant but when you prune euphorbias even if they're dead stems like this I'm gonna be cutting it right back which I'm going to show you close up in the in the video they can often bleed, they give off a white milky sap and spraying it with water will stop the bleed. And I also want to mention as well that when you're dealing with euphorbia, especially if you're pruning them or anything like that, even repotting, because they do give off a milky white sap, it's really important that you protect your hands. Now, I'm, I'm not going to be wearing gloves because I'm used to handling euphorbias and the white sap, I've never had a problem with it irritating my skin but some people will find it can irritate the skin. And also if you touch your hands and you've got the milky sap on, on your hands, you touch, you touch your eyes, I should say, you know, I've heard of where people can go blind or it can cause eye damage and eye pain. So do bear that in mind when you're dealing with euphorbias, do take care. And if you're gonna get a lot of milky sap, probably protect your hands and things like that. As I say, I don't have a problem with when the milky sap gets on my hands. That's the only reason why I'm not wearing gloves, but I have to mention that. And also when you're pruning, water to um, stop the bleed. So that's a little bit about this plant. I've had this, bought this a few years ago from a, a fantastic garden centre called Urban Plant Life in Dublin. And it's done really well for me. It put out loads of new growth and everything until it got knocked back this year. So as I say, I'm gonna prune off these dead branches now, leave the healthy ones, and then it's gonna put a load of new growth up, I'm sure, possibly even for the rest of the summer and even into the early fall. Because euphorbias, in my experience, a lot of them can be autumn growers as well. This one particularly puts on a lot of new growth in the autumn, so pruning it back now is going to help it, and certainly for the following spring. Now here I've got my pruning shears. And what you want to do when you're pruning off dead stems, and this is obviously with all types of plants, but here with euphorbias, I want to get right down to the base there. And as I say, I don't know how far dead this is. It might still bleed a little bit with the sap, but obviously going to get as close as I can to prune off this dead branch. Ooh, no bleed there because it's obviously died up. But this main stem is healthy enough, as you can see all the green growth there. So, and I'm uh, gonna do another one here. Just show you a couple of examples of doing this and then um, I'll show you what it looks like when it's all pruned back. Ooh, now not, there's no um, of the milky sap there either. So this one here, right back at the base. And here, As you, can, you can hear it's crunchy like crisp paper because it is completely died back. This is where the sun damage did it, and uh, I made a video at the time when that happened. 
And this is going to look so much tidier when it's all pruned back here. Look at a bit of the, the sap there, not too bad. I'm just going spray there. Just want to make sure that you don't get any of the, the bleed. Just do that one as well. And, and as I say, if you want to know how to prune euphorbia in general, then do check out Clyde's channel. Again, right down to the base here. That's it. And there. A little bit of bleed there, so I'm going to spray that as well. And then this one. Not too bad, a little bit of bleed. And as I say, these are all healthy here. As you can see, that's healthy green growth there. These, luckily enough, were sort of shadowed a bit by these top parts, which is why this died back with the sun damage, crispy and dry, and this part has survived. And you can see that top bit's okay. These are a little bit crispy, but the rest is okay. So I'm going to carry on doing these parts and then show you what it looks like when it's all been pruned. tra -la! That's it all pruned back, all the dead branches off. And... Uh, these two I left a little bit on because as I cut them off it was still fresh there but I'm um, going to see how it goes. These three arms are perfectly healthy which I'm really happy about and I say a bit of new growth at the top there and also these little ones that have started to come through as well are good so fingers crossed for it that it makes a, a good recovery because it's very special and uh, watch this space for future updates. So I hope you enjoyed the video guys and for lots more tips and tricks on how you can care for and grow cacti and succulents then please do subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook at Desert Plants of Avalon. And also for more growing tips do check out my website desertplantsofavalon.com I want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness and tons and tons of cactus and succulent power from across the emerald isle and until my next video bye